Bed sores are a serious risk for residents of long-term care facilities. Nursing homes, rehabilitation centers, and assisted living homes often host seniors with mobility impairments. Their advanced age and lack of movement puts them at a substantial risk for developing bed sores. Bed sores, also known as pressure ulcers, occur when prolonged pressure on a patient's body cuts off the blood supply to the skin. Since blood delivers oxygen and nutrients to the cells, if the blood supply is cut off, those cells die. When enough cells die, a skin wound, a bed sore, is created. Continual pressure on the skin from a bed, wheelchair, cast, or brace can create conditions that lead to these painful lesions. If left untreated, bed sores will advance to later stages and the resulting health complications can be deadly. Doctors rate the severity of bed sores on a four-stage scale. Stages one and two pose serious health risks, but patients can recover from them in a few weeks with proper shifting of their position and application of first aid. However, stage three and four bed sores require immediate medical attention and treatment to avoid infection and necrosis. Patients can develop bed sores that progress into stage three if caretakers neglect to regularly rotate and reposition them. Further, without addressing the cause, the pressure that caused the bed sores can result in additional lesions. Stage three bed sores often affect pressure points and are frequently located on the hips, shoulder blades, buttocks, and tailbone, back of the head, heels, and the backs and sides of knees. They're associated with pain, burning, or itching, discolored skin that appears red, blue, or purple, an open wound with broken skin that looks cratered or pitted, and exposed fatty tissue in the wound. Ideally, patients with bed sores at any stage should receive adequate medical treatment from a qualified healthcare professional. However, once bed sores advance to stage three, they require immediate attention from a doctor to prevent infection and a worsening of the sore into a stage four bed sore. Signs of an infection which can spread to the rest of the body include pus or other fluids draining from the wound, swelling, warmth around the wound, and a rotten smell. The patient may also show signs of sepsis, like fever, racing heart, clammy skin, and extreme pain. Stage three bed sores have an open wound that reaches through the skin into the fatty layer. However, a stage three injury does not reach the muscle, tendon, or bone. If a bed sore wound becomes this deep, it's considered a stage four bed sore. Diagnosing the correct stage of a bed sore allows doctors to prescribe the proper treatment. Stage one and two bed sores usually only require first aid to prevent infection. Stage four bed sores require surgery to excise dead tissue and clean the wound. Stage three bed sores fall somewhere in between. Doctors usually don't operate on stage three bed sores, but they may prescribe antibiotics and clean the wound to reduce the risk of infection. The dead tissue can harbor dangerous bacteria that leads to infection and also slows the healing process. Prescribed antibiotics may include topical ointments applied to the wound and ingestible antibiotics to prevent the infection from spreading to the rest of the body. When faced with a serious preventable wound like a stage three bed sore, doctors have an ethical duty to investigate the conditions that led to the injury. Once they determine the cause, they can prescribe measures to address the contributing factors, including hydration, nutrition, and patient movement. In many states, doctors must report signs of caretaker neglect. Early detection and treatment can prevent bed sores from impacting a patient's life expectancy. By themselves, bed sores will not shorten a patient's life. However, bed sores that are allowed to worsen to stage three or four could lead to fatal complications. Patients can fully recover from the physical effects of stage three bed sores. However, stage three bed sores might signify neglect, which can further endanger the patient's mental and physical health. Caretakers can prevent and treat early stage bed sores by relieving the pressure on the injury. For bed sores to reach stage three, the caretaker may have allowed a stage one or two bed sore to worsen through neglect of proper treatment. A stage three bed sore also indicates that caretakers have neglected their duty of regularly inspecting immobile patients for bed sores while washing and dressing them. Nursing home residents and their families can avoid preventable injuries like stage three bed sores.
If your loved one has any conditions that increase the risk of bed sores, advanced age, obesity, poor circulation, or mobility disability, you should have a discussion with the care facility about your expectations. It would be wise to outline your concerns in writing, so you have a record of your discussions. If you believe a family member suffers from a stage 3 bed sore at a nursing home facility, or was injured in a nursing home due to elder abuse, maltreatment, or neglect, contact us for a free case evaluation. A lawyer may be able to help prove that a nursing care facility is responsible for a bed sore reaching stage three. Our team of legal experts is happy to hear your concerns. NursingHomeAbuse.org, exposing nursing home abuse and helping seniors get justice.